been? How have I been? I've been good, man. I've been good. Um, the last couple of weeks have been a uh, very strenuous. I have to admit, uh, I've been running a lot. I've been doing a lot of running. So um, last week, I think I ran Monday to Friday, right? Every day, Monday to Friday, which was a flipping horror show. Um, I did about 15 miles, I think, last week. Let me see if I can find it on my Strava. Um, it's been helped a lot because I've been running home from work a few times. I work near like the Liverpool Street, Olga East area. So it's uh, from that bit to basically Stratford is about 3 miles, point, 3.8 miles. If I run from that place exactly all the way to home, it'll be about four miles. So I can get a four mile run in, just running back from the work a couple of times a week. So that's not too bad. Um, so yeah, so last week I did, I'm, I'm pretty sure I did something like uh, 15 miles. This week is probably going to be about 10, to be completely honest. But I'm feeling good. I'm feeling stronger. It's very difficult, like I said previously. I'd still maintain that running outside is 10 times more difficult than going to the gym, doing Pilates, doing yoga. Maybe yoga is probably the most... I'd say is similar to running because of the positions they're having to hold and the fact that most of your mobility is most of your most of what you can do in yoga is limited by your mobility. If you're more, if you're if you're if you're if your limbs are mobile and you can put yourself in different positions, you'll do more. If not, you just won't do it. But it would then hurt for you to be in those positions because obviously you have to uh, train your limbs to kind of sit in those positions, and obviously the teacher won't let you. Because every yoga class I've been to, the instructors are flipping amazing. They don't let up. Do you know what I mean they can spot people who are taking breaks, who are like you know putting their elbow down or resting or just not doing it properly, and they're always kind of you know kick up the ass for it. So you have, to, you have to be on your p's and q's. Obviously with running, especially if you're, that's the defense I've heard of people that say that prefer running on treadmills because they say if you're running on a treadmill, it's a consistent pace you have to keep up. There is no like coasting. Whereas when you're running on the street, you can sprint for a bit and then you can just coast for a bit and plod along and then sprint and plod along, isn't it? But you can't necessarily do that when you are running on a treadmill, which I understand to some extent, but you know, I still don't think it's correct because I think the fact that you're having to run on uh, different kind of planes, you're having to navigate around traffic, you're having to speed up and slow down. Sometimes you might get a little bit of a chip in your shoulder because the bus is coming past you and you want to race a bus. These things kind of help in terms of kind of in increasing your overall endurance and I still maintain that um running on a treadmill there is I think you can you can transfer your skills running on the street or running on the road to running on a treadmill like if you run regularly on, outside you'll probably be fine to run on the treadmill like a true form you'll be fine but I always kind of uh, my assumption is that people that run excessively on the treadmill aren't necessarily the strongest runners when they go on the road it's not a, the transferable skill that you'd think it doesn't work both ways um but I've been having a lot of fun with it I'm getting back to where I was before uh, when I was at my peak, I was just running all the time. I was signing up to every single race I could find. Now I'm just training more just to kind of get my base where I need it to be. And then I'm going to sign up to some few, a few more races. My running regime might get a bit interrupted because I'm going to Berlin next week. So that might interrupt kind of my overall process of what I do. But, you know, what can you do? 